Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in the studio, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your iPhone photos over from your phone to your laptop or maybe even your Windows 10 or 11 PC. So the first thing you need to do is plug in your USB charging cable to your computer and then plug it into your phone just like this. And there's gonna be a pop-up on your screen now where you simply just have to press allow. So you can see my iPhone in the background. Let's press allow. And now we have to type in the passcode and we should be able to transfer files back and forth now. So on my computer, this file explorer automatically popped up where I can see the internal storage. And I can go through here and I can see all these different files that I have on my iPhone. So I can open up the last one. I think this is where all my photos should be from like the most recent things I took, like this one down here. Uh, let's just open this up under photos, go to always, and this photo should pop up. So I have a side by side photo of me. I did like a little shortcut thing where I can add these together. And you can see it worked pretty well. And I can transfer this over to File Explorer somewhere. Now, some of these files don't readily like show up. Uh, they don't have thumbnails or pictures to them. So it's kind of hard to see everything we want to go in and transfer over to. So you can just open up File Explorer and then copy it over to somewhere on your computer. So if you got like an external hard drive or something like that, you can find the location for that. And then, you know, just copy this. Now you can select everything by hitting Control A. Otherwise you can hold down Control and just select the actual files you want to copy over. And then you can press right click on this and then go to cut or copy. If you want to copy a file from uh, your phone over to your PC and then leave everything on your phone as well, go to copy. If you want to delete everything, press cut. And then we can move this on over to a folder on our uh, hard drive. So we can just open up another tab on the File Explorer and then go on over to a location on our computer. So uh, maybe it's just under pictures. So I can just copy it into here and then paste it and boom. So you might be a little bit more organized than me. Now, a great way to do this is to go to search and then just type in photos and open up the Windows Photo app. And when we open this up, we can import uh, files from our iPhone rather easy. So we can go to the top right now, go to Apple iPhone. So go to import Apple iPhone, and then it's going to generate a bunch of different images in here. And it's gonna take a while to do this. That's why I don't always like doing this because I just wanna copy like two or three videos over instead of having to generate everything. So it says it's gonna take a while because I have like 2000 pictures on here, but you can just go to select all or just select new if you did this before. And then you can just go to add right here and it'll add all the pictures to whatever folder you choose. So it's very easy to use this. It just takes some time to generate all your pictures. So these are all popping up right now from my vacation and stuff. So yeah, you can use it by, uh, the Photos app or you can just go to the File Explorer and it'll take a little bit of time on this one. But that's why I like just open up the different files. The only problem is you might, might not be able to see them. Uh, so you kind of have to guess which they are because the thumbnails don't always show up when I do the file explorer. Much more likely uh, when I do the photos application, but you can see some of these photos aren't showing up either. It may take a little bit of time to load as well. Also, you might need some extensions on your computer for whatever HEIF or HEVC that you can get through the Microsoft Store or some of the .mov files might not show up. And I use an application called Icarus to view those. So on my hard drive, I have a bunch of photos on there and videos already. And let's go to the E drive right here and then go to my photos right here are my videos. And you can see uh, the .mov files show up. I use an application called I-C-A-R-O-S, Acaros. And I just simply add my windows uh, i just simply add my mov files to this program make sure thumbnailing is activated 
go to add, and then just simply add the file to here, and it'll show up. So that's how I get the thumbnails for Windows 10 on here. But if you're gonna be using HEVC uh, compatibility on your iPhone, you need to go to the Microsoft Store, and you need to go to HEIF image extensions, and you need to get HEIF image extensions here and HEVC video extensions right here. And I think this is downvoted a lot because it costs like 99 cents. But if you're using that compatibility mode on your iPhone instead of H.264 or JPEG, well, you might have some issues trying to view it if you don't have these extensions. So yeah, that's how I can see the thumbnails now. But Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six studios.